Welcome to the Dr. Journal Club Podcast, the show that goes under the hood of evidence-based integrative medicine. We review recent research articles, interview evidence-based medicine thought leaders, and discuss the challenges and opportunities of integrating evidence-based and integrative medicine. Continue your learning after the show at www.drjournalclub.com. Please bear in mind that this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Talk to your doctor before making any medical decisions, changes, etc. Everything we're talking about, that's to teach you guys stuff and have fun. We are not your doctors. Also, we would love to answer your specific questions. On drjournalclub.com, you can post questions and comments for specific videos. But go ahead and email us directly at josh at drjournalclub.com. That's josh at drjournalclub.com. Send us your listener questions and we will discuss it on our pod. Hello and welcome to another super speedy summary. This is your host, Dr. Joshua Goldenberg. Today we're going to talk about a a small little randomized controlled trial for PEA for diabetic neuropathy. It came out last year, 2022. It was a randomized controlled trial to look at the neuropathy of patients with diabetes using this supplement. So, you know, peripheral neuropathy, if you treat diabetes, um, you know, it's not uncommon. Um, and it's a, it's a challenging sequelae, right? Because it's very hard to treat or, or somewhat challenging to treat. And it has a major impact on patients' quality of life and and mental health as well. And so the question was, you know, there was some preliminary uh, background work to suggest that perhaps the supplement PEA uh, would have some benefit in diabetes-related neuropathy outcomes. And so this was a randomized controlled trial, small randomized controlled trial of about 70 participants uh, with diabetic neuropathy to see if they would benefit from this supplement. Uh, They were randomized to either get 600 milligrams of PEA or placebo daily for eight weeks. It was a two-month study compared to placebo, and the outcomes were a number of pain-related symptom scores as well as some additional outcome measures such as um, mood, anxiety, depression, sleep, as well as some objective outcomes like um, IL-6 and other inflammatory markers. So primary, we're going to look at the primary pain outcomes here. At the end of the study, the pain scores across groups did decrease. The effect size was large, and it was statistically significant. So while this study was small with 70 people, it is quite promising, large statistically significant effect in a condition that is quite difficult to treat. Go ahead and watch the basic level video by Dr. Adam Sadowski this week, which goes into this study in much more detail. Until next time, this is Dr. Joshua Goldenberg signing off for Dr. Journal Club. Thank you for listening to the Dr. Journal Club podcast, the show that goes under the hood of evidence-based integrative medicine. We review recent research articles, interview evidence-based medicine thought leaders, and discuss the challenges and opportunities of integrating evidence-based and integrative medicine. Be sure to visit www.drjournalclub.com to learn more.